Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today what I wanted to do was show off the Vanguard that is now hangar ready in the PTU, uh, which coincidentally is one of my favorite ships in the game. And just seeing it in hangar actually gives you a real good idea of kind of the overall scale of this ship. I mean, it is huge. It's, you know, redeemer sized. It's not as fat or anything like that, but I mean, the ship is big, and especially when you start talking about combat and knowing that these wings actually end up folding out. I think we start getting a little bit of perspective on what type of ship this actually is. You know, you can get a little bit more understanding of why this is a long-range fighter, why there's the capabilities to actually equip redundant systems in here. Um, you know, I think we also get some understanding of how this thing's going to fight a little bit more. So a ship this size isn't going to be that nimble dogfighter of a ship. However, a ship this size could very easily be a very fast, straight-line ship using this big ass Gatling gun on the front to then really deal some damage. Now remember, I've talked about this before, this is, this ship has a lot of forward facing weaponry, so while you've got this big ass gun right here, you've also got those four big ass guns up there. That's not even counting the turret up there. Now before we really get too far with this, this is the Vanguard Warden. You know, this is the base Vanguard, or the, the one that was originally the Bulldog in concept. Uh, so there's going to be other ones that are going to be coming, namely the Sentinel and the Harbinger. And uh, we'll kind of show those off once those are actually hangar ready as well. Um, but from the outside, the aesthetics are going to be what you're noticing most of the, you know, the, the differences. Where this uh, Warden actually kind of matches something like the Retaliator with the Squadron 42 paint job. Um, the black and red themes, kind of very sharp sharp, uh, you know, just almost stealth bomber-like in a way. Um, the Harbinger is going to look a little bit more like the, uh, eh, stop moving. The Harbinger is going to look a little bit more like the, uh, uh, I don't know, kind of the army drab green, like we've seen from the old, like, military skins. Uh, and then the Sentinel is obviously the black and yellow one. Um, but here is one of the wings that folds out. You know, it looks a little bit odd just tucked back in here, but once you actually get into flight, that's going to pop out a little bit and kind of end up being a, uh, you know, a wing there. You got your running light, and I'm hoping there's going to be a maneuvering thruster somewhere along the way on this wing. I'm not positive of that, but I would think that makes a little bit more sense as to why it has the wing outside of just design purposes. But from the back, we then can take a look at the engine systems and just the overall look of the ship. And it's bizarre, but it's still just an awesome ship. So getting into this ship, uh, we can go ahead and come up here, open up, and we head in. Now, before we get too carried away, you'll notice there's a little compartment there. Um, there is a little bit of room kind of tucked out the back. So I'm guessing, if I had to guess, um, that that's probably leading you to some form of avionics back there um, or some sort of like shield paneling or um, if you have to do some maintenance on your ship perhaps you're able to actually get in this door and do that um, I don't envision that being a cargo space or anything like that that's not what this ship has really been designed for um, and then this area right here, I mean, you could probably tuck a little bit of cargo in here or maybe a couple people on a very short mission. It's kind of wasted space in a way, unless they do like some more redesign in here to give it real purpose. The problem is you can't really utilize something like this for cargo because one, it's got the rails on the side. Um, you might fit one crate in here, but with this being a, kind of an up and down lift, it's going to be hard to really envision anything locking in place. So maybe munitions could work in here. Um, I'm not sure what the long-term vision of this room is, but it's the one that kind of makes me wonder just a little bit. Um, here is the room that gives the vanguards their uh, modularity. Um, and this is the swappable kind of middle seat area, um, or the middle kind of module section. Um, and in the warden, we have the more... Um, I guess let's just call it like a bit like habitable living area. Um, you've got your weapons racks over here, which is always a nice touch. You've got your lockers where you can, you know, keep various items. Um, you got your beds over here. Now keep in mind, beds aren't just beds; they're also uh, escape pods. So, um, you know, if you end up in one of these or this, you know, your ship's going down, you can get into that escape pod and get out. Um, we've got our shower right here. Um, I don't see a toilet, so maybe you just pee in the shower. Um, you've got your station. I have the hardest time getting this damn thing to open. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Uh, come on. It's just a station like we've seen on like the Freelancer and some of the others, so it's not going to be a real bummer if I can't get it to open right now. There we go. Okay. 
Uh, you get your greasy screen for some reason. It looks like somebody wiped their face on it. Um, but, you know, we can kind of look down at the controls and we get a little bit of an idea of how this is all going to play out. You know, pilots up in the front, you're either scanning for threats or you're in here uh, changing power to different stations. You know, there's different options that you can actually do. Um, but, you know, that's just going to be one of those things that's going to impact gameplay. Um, up here we actually have the access to the turret. It doesn't look like it's working yet, um, but that'll get you into the top. Moving in a little bit further, um, we get more paneling. Um, you know, again, this isn't, I wouldn't, I don't know if I want to call this wasted space, but it's more of, I'm interested to see what they're going to do with this space. Now, part of me is glad that it is like this, because otherwise it would feel like a very, very cramped ship. Um, but there, there probably needs to be, you know, some purpose to this. Otherwise, I would have rather seen the module come forward a little bit more and give it more space in the area that's functional. Uh, so I would assume that we're going to see more things that are taking place in here. Like this is going to open up and do something. Like this is what I expect to see. But that side over there, like, I don't know. There just seems like there could be a little bit more. I'm not sure what the goal is going to be. Now, don't take that as complaints, though. I mean, this ship is still just sexy as hell. And I, I'm more just talking from a gameplay perspective. I like the design of this. I think it looks really good. Uh, I think as far as how it ends up being used in game if it's just something that looks sharp I'm okay with that I'm just a little bit surprised based on the fact that I haven't seen a whole lot of those panels in other places and on a ship like this with all these redundant systems I was expecting to see more um, design wise though I have no complaints um, more lockers and you know these these don't look like your standard lockers and this could be what we're talking about you know what that real difference is you know these could be access panels to your different uh, systems so if that's the case then they've done it well um, and who knows maybe it's multiple smaller systems so maybe it's one two and three one two and three one two and three of like shields avionics thrusters you know, like those types of things so i don't know um once we can get in and really start ripping pieces apart i think we'll have a little bit more fun with uh, ships like this but um and then in here we have our cockpit um there's been some complaints of visibility about this ship but i th and i think while some of that is justified i think what most people are seeing um, I'm going to show you here in just a second. Get, get in the seat, dude. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, the seat actually comes back on the track, but right here is what people saw as the screenshot, and we're like, oh my god, that that's absolutely terrible. Well, they, well it's not really the case, you know. They were seeing where the seat was farther back and these up here were in the uh, you know kind of in the eye line a little bit too much so this is kind of your default cockpit visibility and it looks a lot like the retaliator but i think when you look at this and think about what the purpose of this ship is the visibility isn't that bad you know it's a ship that's going to be coming in from a long way boom and zoom very fast bringing the pain on a straight line and i think this cockpit is going to kind of help support that um, I think a cockpit like this also kind of gives you some real um, good ideas as to how this is going to, uh, you know, play as far as gameplay, you know, especially with something like an Oculus or a Track IR. You know, you got a screen, 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 you got a screen. You've got all of these different screens, and you can almost envision your your character looking up and over and hitting one of those buttons to actually end up having a real impact on your ship. And with the user interface videos that we've seen, it's pretty clear that that level of detail is actually going to be in the game. So. As we kind of back out of the ship, I know it kind of zoomed in, but there's the track that kind of leads the seat back to us. So um, we'll head outside and do one more uh, little walk around. But uh, that's the Vanguard Warden. Uh, for me, it's still one of my favorite ships, if not my favorite ship. There's just something about it, you know, and it, the design went a different way than I thought it was going to initially, but I'm glad it went this way because it's very unique, it's very attractive, uh, and it looks like an absolute beast. I mean, Seeing this big ass fighter flying at you from downtown really fast with that big ass nose gun lighting up the place, it's a really exciting proposition. So, um, there you have it. That's the Vanguard Warden. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try and crank out a, another one here in a little bit um, regarding the Constellation Andromeda. I know I kind of showcased the CIG video of the rework, but um, I've actually had access to get into one at this point. So, I will take a walk around that. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned for more. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.